Up by Stuart Gibbs. Let's start with this. This was a rather ravishing book and I would consider this book as a murder mystery, but really when you think about a book that would that you would consider a murder mystery, then you really think about a detective who arrives at a crime scene, there's a shady person in a hood, and then people are going missing, people are getting murdered, stuff like that. But this book is actually surprisingly um, happy for a murder mystery because you'd really expect it to be a kind of depressing book overall set in a really, really, really sad, rainy area where there are criminals everywhere, all that. But this book is starring a young child named Theodore Fitzroy who's living in a zoo slash theme park called Fun Jungle. So really, how much better can life get you you're literally living at an amusement park. That that sounds pretty nice uh, to every single kid who might be watching this video. So this book, it really is amazing and it's really suspenseful and let's say this, if it gets too suspenseful, then then that's also a good thing because then you get in really, really into the book. But the thing is, despite the fact that this isn't completely a bad thing, you kind of drift into a different world if it gets too intriguing. So too much suspense means that you shouldn't be reading this at school or somewhere where you need to listen or keep track of time or something. And if it's not suspenseful at all and only like an itsy bitsy bit of suspenseful, then really, who wants to read that? Because that's a really, really boring book. So really, people think, what's the point of finishing this book? And eventually, you just end up putting the book down. But this book had an equal amount of suspense. So remember, an equal amount of suspense, that would mean that it becomes a complete page turner. And there were a lot of interesting things about this book that included the suspense. So at one point, if you haven't read this book yet, um, I apologize in advance uh, for, uh, because I am about to spit out a spoiler right now. Um, there were two attempts of murdering Theodore. So obviously nobody expects that. Theodore of course he's a troublemaker there, but do you really murder someone for just arming some chimpanzees with uh, water balloons just because he has he has a reason that equals that balances everything out. He his reason is that people are harassing the animals, people are throwing uh, peanuts at them, so really what can you say? He was only trying to help the animals. So, you don't murder someone for this. So, this also means that somebody found out that Theodore and Summer McCracken were trying to figure out who caused the death of Henry the Hippopotamus. So, that part obviously caught everybody off guard. But, catching somebody off guard if you do it too many times in a book, then eventually it gets really hard to follow. But once in every while, once in a once, twice, three times in a book, then that's that just makes it a wonderful, wonderful book, which turns out to be a page turner. And in the first murder attempt they let out a black mamba. The thing is, what happened to that black mamba? We never, they never really caught it. It never killed anyone. So really, what happened to that black mamba? Another mystery of this book. 
and so since this is a mystery book, of course, if there were like 19 chapters in this book that were like, oh my god, what's happening? I have no clue what's going on. We need to find a lead. Then really, who wants to read 19 chapters of that? And if you only had one chapter which spilled out all the information, where's the fun in that? So I really loved one of the other things I really loved about this book is that it lets out a really nice amount of information and instead of uncovering that whole blanket at once it only lets you uncover a bit of the blanket bit by bit chapter by chapter but i do have two points that i did not completely enjoy about this book one of them is that it's very confusing because number one there are a lot of characters and when of course it's a mystery of course there are going to be a lot of suspects but too many suspects like my maximum would be five suspects but this book had like 10 13 suspects and eventually that gets really really hard to follow so hard to follow you can't remember who's good who's bad who do you suspect who's just helping with that investigation and second off if you look at the back of this book there's no summary. So, of course, I looked inside the book. There's still no su summary. And also at the back of the book, there is no summary. So, personally, I don't judge a book by its cover. I don't judge it by the first line or anything. I don't judge it by the plot story. I don't judge it by the genre. I judge it by the summary that's supposed to be usually on the back or inside the book. But unfortunately, there is no none. So... That part I can't quite say I particularly enjoyed. Anyways, this book I truly enjoyed. And I hope you enjoyed this book review as well. Thank you so much for listening listening and watching. And before I sign off, I'm going to rate it a 4 out of 5 stars because ravishing book amazing amazing amount of suspense and information revealed at each and every chapter once more but there it was also really really confusing but lots of good points as well so thanks for listening bye bye